Yo, what's going on boys? Today I'm going to be playing some Expo Goblin Machine on top ladder. Goblin Machine's really fun to play right now and also super broken, so I'm going to be playing it with Expo. And keep in mind before I get into the video that Goblin Machine is so much worse than a knight in the deck. Knight is actually a lot better. It synergizes well and it also beats a lot of like matchups that Goblin Machine would not be. But I'm just once again playing it for fun and also because it's broken. So hope you guys enjoy the video. And my first match here facing, uh, looks like Lava Hound. Played Barbs and Skeleton Army, so... Could be Lava Hound, could also be a different deck. Alright, yeah, now that I know it's definitely Lava Hound, I'm gonna go for an X-Ball on the right lane sometime soon. He has no responses right now. Okay, wait, that Inferno Dragon was also kind of bad. I think I get one rocket on the tower because Inferno Dragon is too close to my Goblin Machine. Nice, okay. That's still really good damage. Even though yesterday, that would have taken off like half the tower, but that's still really, really good damage right there. I'm gonna go for uh, x on the right. I think he's actually gonna go on the left because I got damage on the left, but I think he's back to evil barbs right now. Oh, bad lava hound, really bad lava hound. Or I mean, it could be good if he like tower trades here, but I doubt it. Like, I don't think he's gonna be able to tower trade because number one, arrows is not in the meta right now. The goblin curse took over the meta, so no one plays arrows anymore. They play like void goblin curse. Number two, even if he had arrows, I think I would have been able to defend because he's not back to balloon. He just got back to balloon with the skeleton army, so I would have had enough elixir to defend that. Oh, never mind. He does have arrows. Okay, I wasn't paying attention. All right. Interesting, though. A lot of lava players don't play arrows anymore, but this guy's playing arrows. But yeah, it should be fine, though. I defended it pretty well anyways. I'm going to go for Axe Ball on the right. I think he only has an Inferno Dragon for this. Oh, he gave up. Let's go. Okay, super easy first game. Um, Yeah, Goblin Machine kind of helped out in this matchup, getting some damage on the left and also baiting out Inferno Dragon, but not really as much. I still want to say Knight would have been better in this matchup because it's cheaper. You cut the eye drag back. You like kind of cycle back to your stuff quicker. Compared to Goblin Machine, you put it in the bag. It's 5 Elixir. You can't really cycle back to your cards as quick. But I'm going to Fireball the King Tower. That is going to be a good game. I don't think I'm that high right now. I think I'm like right outside of top 100 if not barely inside the top 100 so yeah i'll check after the game but gonna hop right in and see when i find a match artem in my next match here facing hunter he's playing ice bow um i think he has matchup here i want to say he has matchup because number one goblin machines five elixir i can't get back to it whenever i want i feel like if your mini tanks over four elixir and you're facing ice bow it's already over from the start number two though um even though the goblin machine is broken it's not as broken as what it used to be yesterday so I feel like I have to get a lot of rockets on the tower, not just one or two. Because yesterday, I could have won with like one or maybe two rockets on the tower. But now, I have to get like way more than that. Wait, interesting Tesla. I'm going to go for Axe on the right. He's going to have to rocket that. Okay, well, he's going to have to still rocket, so I'm not going to log. If I log there, I waste my elixir. I get some damage, but I waste my elixir. So I think I'm going to try to save my log and just kind of cycle back to my expo really quick. If I get a lock, that would be amazing. I do need to get a lock in this matchup. You can't try to win without a log, because even if you fireball the tower multiple times, one rocket is enough to catch up. Like, one rocket NATO log does over 800 damage, probably. Actually, no, it's like 700 and something, but yeah, it does a lot of damage. Okay, see what he does here. Just go for the log. I'm going to go for a goblin machine to the left here. I don't care if he expos on the right. I think I'll go for like a Tesla and whatever if he does, but no, it looks like he's going to defend it. Really good skellies, by the way, tanking the rocket. I'm going to log over here, see what he does. Ooh, really good log. Good timing on it um i want to expo but i don't know if it's safe one rocket on the tower perfect okay got one shot on the tower i thought he would tesla over there so i kind of put skellies in front but unfortunately he did not go for the tesla so i'm kind of evened out on the damage i don't like this because i have to establish one lane to go for and he's gonna try to go opposite from that or maybe same lane from that because he has tornado and log but right now, like, the damage is so split up that I don't know what lane to go for. But I guess I'll keep, like, split laning a little bit, like, Goblin Machine one lane and then try to go Axe Bow other lane. I don't know, it's so weird. Like, it feels so weird with a Goblin Machine, but I feel like if I had a Knight, I would know exactly what to do at all times. I'm gonna go for Skellies here. I'm gonna go for Ice Spear on the Knight. I try to NATO on the right to take out the Tesla on the Archers. Never mind. Okay, didn't go for the NATO, so I'm actually gonna Axe Bow on the right, see if he's gonna Tesla over here. I think he has to, yeah kind of had to tesla okay i get like two rockets on the tower that's really good bad night by the way he pulled it out of the non-rocket range you know what i mean like the mortar range is where the rockets shoot but he pulled it back out so that way like i was able to get extra rocket on the tower but it's okay i don't think it really matters i'm gonna go for axe on the left here i'm also gonna tesla i feel like he might tesla Ooh, good rocket really good rocket i honestly thought he would go for a tesla right there 
I might be a little bit cooked here. I think he might try to Axe Bow. I'm going to go for Arches and then Goblin Machine right now. Okay, it does go for the Log. He's probably going to NATO too. Okay, interesting. He did not NATO. Oh, he does NATO. Hmm, I wonder why he played it late. I feel like it would have been better if he played it earlier. I don't know. I think he would have baited out a Fireball. Interesting, no? Um... Okay, gotta let that die now. I can't defend the Axe Bow. Evo Tessa and a Knight on the Axe Bow, so definitely gonna let that die. Gonna go for Ice Spear at the back, gonna Evil Archers in the middle. Okay, I think I'm gonna Goblin Machine here to not let the Evil Archer get hit by the Tesla wave. I think the second wave might hit it though. Oh, unfortunate. He's gonna log and be able to take it out. Or NATO, yeah. Same thing, but I think I'm gonna Fireball. Because Ice Wiz outranges the rocket from the Goblin Machine, so I think the Fireball was the correct play right there. Okay, this is what I hate about Ice, but now he's gonna literally rocket cycle me. He's gonna get like two rockets on the tower, and I have to Fireball the tower, like I can't Fireball the Axe Bow. Because I'm gonna be down even more damage, I have to try to like keep my damage lead right here, but... Winning by one Fireball now, and I feel like I'm gonna lose this game by like... Really close margin, because I can't keep up with the spell cycle. Tornado and Log just out damage me so hard, not to mention the rocket too. One rocket on the tower, please. No, definitely not going to get it. Okay, Evo Tesla over here. I'm back to my Goblin Machine. I need to Goblin Machine here. I played it all the way up high because I kind of got scared of the tornado. So, kind of wanted to play it super high. Not back to log, I don't think. So, should not be able to log. But I'm going to tank for the expo though. Can't take that damage right now. Um, That was Wasted Elixir. He's definitely going to rock it. Okay. Um, yeah, this game looks just about over. I feel like I lost but let's see i don't want to lose hope yet I'm gonna go for archers i can't fireball those because i need to fireball for the tower so i think i'm gonna tesla over here for the evil tesla wait log not back to night i think he's like one off night yo x spawn tower okay fireball come on come on no the last skelly tank too the other lane skelly also tanked and then he was able to get the evil knight down um, fireball. If I get one more fireball down, I win. If not, I think I lose by like 10 HP. Literally, like, it's gonna be so close. Log, two, one. Oh, 13 HP. No. So unfortunate. Okay. That was a really good game, though. He played that really well as well. But I kind of knew from the start that I was gonna lose by like a close margin after that double looks. Artem and my next match here facing Piggy's Earthquake with Delivery. This guy's pretty good at the deck, so I need to watch out. But this is like one of the rare matchups. Like one of the only matchups where Goblin Machine's a lot better than a Knight. Because I get the defensive rocket on the Piggies and stuff. And I also get the rocket on the Queen. Super helpful. So yeah, should be fine. Definitely going to be my matchup by like a lot. I want to say like 75-25 on my favor. But I could be wrong though. Maybe he could just defend the whole game in Spell Cycle. But, like, defending Goblin Machine and Expo should be so, so annoying for him. I can just imagine myself from his side and not being able to defend the Goblin Machine. I feel like Expo is easy to defend, but, like, the Goblin Machine itself is going to be so problematic. Okay, I'm going to go for Arches in the back here. Got one rocket on the Queen already. Mistimed the ability, so got one rocket on the Queen. And the Goblin Machine got some damage on it. I'm going to wait till the Queen walks in and then go Tesla in the middle to defend the Piggies. Okay, right here I could get damage. He only has cannon right now, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to Axe Let the Archer go in front to tank for the Axe And then he's going to let the Archer die to the Dagger and then go cannon. So I'm going to block the cannon now. Perfect. I'm going to log in the cannon. Okay, nice. Good damage. I get like 600 maybe. 700. Okay, I'll take it. It was like 650, whatever. But yeah, 700 basically. All right, I just need to keep doing that. Keep track of cycle. Like, if it's a cycle deck versus cycle deck, a lot of times you just have to keep track of cycle. Like, forget elixir, just keep track of cycle. If you get one specific card out of cycle, I think you can kind of capitalize on it. Oh, I forget. It's not the old dagger. I'm going to take some damage. Yeah, dagger duchess damage got nerfed, so it doesn't, like, one tap a pig after a fireball anymore. But for some reason, I thought it would because I still have not completely adapted yet, but... It's okay, I'll keep that in mind for next time. I'm probably not going to fireball from now on, though, because that interaction's a little bit annoying. I'm going to block the cannon. I feel like you might try to cannon here. Definitely going to cannon. I'm going to block it. Can't afford a log right away. That means, wait, he's going to log max, but that means he's not going to be able to pop the ability on time. Right? Oh, perfect. Okay, sweet. Really good game sense right there. <laughs> that was really nice. I'm going to go for Goblin Machine the back here. He might try to piggies opposite. I'm going to go for Tesla middle. Number one, not back to Earthquake. Number two, I get a defensive rocket on the piggies. Oh my god, okay, I'm playing this really well right now. Gonna go for Arches in the back. I think I could Axe Ball on the right. I don't need to Axe Ball on the left because 
I have a whole goblin machine walking down the lane, so I'm gonna fireball on the right. Yo, I hit the cannon with the fireball. Okay, really good fireball. We're gonna call that a prediction fireball. It wasn't really a prediction, but yo, the rockets on the what? Back to back rockets. By the way, if you guys didn't know, if you stun the goblin machine, it shoots right away, like literally right away. So it shot a rocket and then it got stunned by the evil ice spirit and then it shot right away. Okay, I'm winning on the left side now. That's so weird. Okay, Evo Skelly's here. I'm gonna go for a log on the left. I think I'm gonna go for a fireball on the tower too. Do I need to? I think I get a rocket. Yeah, I get a rocket on the tower. Okay. Dude, I feel bad. What the hell? He can't defend the goblin machine. Or the axe bow. Like, once he spends out, like, all his defense for the goblin machine, I can just axe bow and get damage. Because all he has left for the axe bow is a cannon. I just have to block the cannon. Really good defensive rocket right there. I can keep the Tesla alive for the second set of pigs. Good ability, he didn't miss time at this time around. I'm gonna go for Evo Archer's gonna block the cannon with the skeletons, okay? And that is gonna be a good game, nice. All right, I think I played that really out of my mind, like I played that really well. Couldn't have played better than that, that was amazing. I'll take the win, Um, definitely my matchup though by a little bit, but still, played that really well. Kind of proud of how I played that game. <laughs> Let me see where that puts me, 107. All right, gonna hop into my next match here, facing A-L-I-U from Walking Dead. See what deck he's playing. I'm gonna go for Arches in the back. Okay, could be any kind of deck. I feel like that name's kind of familiar though. Valk in the back, so it can only be one deck. It's gonna be Lava Hound, I think. Yeah, definitely gonna be Lava Hound. But yeah, that name kind of looks familiar. I think I faced this guy in like maybe previous videos, but who knows? Um, but anyways, gonna be a really good matchup because Lava Hound, I love facing Lava Hound. They don't have arrows anymore. Hopefully, last guy had arrows. That was kind of weird and interesting, but People don't have arrows in Lava Hound anymore. They play like Void and Goblin Curse, so I'm kind of looking forward to this. This guy played a Zap already, so it might be like Zap got, uh, not Goblin Curse, Zap Void, but I don't know. We'll find out. Gonna Goblin Machine on the right. I just pray that he does not have the arrows because then I can just get like the freeze whenever. Void, okay, perfect. So he played a Zap and a Void. Looking promising. I'm gonna get a rocket on the tower. Does go for the Goblin game kind of late though. All Ice Spear here to tank, and I should take no damage. Never mind. I forgot that the Dagger Duchess got a nerf. Okay, I need to adapt to, like, a lot of interactions. I didn't know that Spear Gobs took two uh, shots to die. But, yeah, I should have played the high right there. If I played the Ice Spear high, I would have taken no damage. All good, though. I get some damage back, but I'm also going to Goblin Machine in front because he doesn't have Valken Cycle, and he just played a Zap, so. But he's kind of cooked here. He can only Skelly Drags, and he's at no Elixir right now. Probably has like two elixir now. He's probably gonna have to goblin gang on that. Oh, that's so unfortunate for him. Wow, okay. Cooking this guy up as well. I'm gonna go for a log right now. I think he's back to evil Valk. Um, I should be able to DPS it down though because I have all my daggers back in a second. Okay, I've got all the daggers back now and then I can also fireball if I need to. Yo, wait, did he miss? <laughs> oh my God, okay. <laughs> wow. I don't know how you miss a whole like open expo, but I even put it on the inside tile. That should have been so easy to void. Like you, you can void all around the expo, but I don't know how this guy missed. Okay, gonna test over here. I'm gonna go for a goblin machine on defense. Should throw out like a few rockets on defense here, hopefully. Okay, I'm gonna get a fireball first. Ooh, got the evil valk too. That was amazing. Gonna go for an ice spirit. Yeah, like I said, this guy does not have the arrows, and. Uh, yeah, a lot of Lava players don't play arrows anymore, which is why this win is so free right now. Like, I don't have to do anything to win. I just have to, like, spam. Okay. I think he gave up. If he lets a lock on, he gave up. All right. I'll take the win. Not going to be able to take out the King Tower on time, but I will take down the second tower, though. But let me know in the comments so far if you like the deck. It's, like, kind of fun to play, but also really easy to lose a game, though. If you face any, like, Goblin Machine P.E.K.K.A. decks or any kind of other beatdown Goblin Machine deck, I feel like it's really easy to lose. You're gonna miss Knight a lot in those kind of matchups, but except for that, I feel like Goblin Machine's pretty fun to play and also super broken right now, so should be fine. Gonna hop right in. Okay, in my next match here, facing Envy Carlos ALV. Okay, gonna go for Arches in the back to cycle. This guy's a lot lower than me, so I cannot afford to lose. I have to win this game. Batteram in the back, um, could be Pekka, could also be Mega Knight. Gonna go for a Goblin Machine. Yeah, I can really only think of two decks with Matterim. I guess Bridge Spam is one too, but it's not really popular anymore. Also, by the way, the Prince is so annoying right now because of the buff. It charges so soon now. 
It's really hard to defend. Like, one HP princess always get the charge off on your tower now. But I'm going to go for a log. I'm also going to go for ice spirit right now. Look at how quick that is. Wow. All right. And he was going to go for arches in the back. Also, really hard to time, like, Ram Rider. Sometimes, like, I've choked the game or two today because the Ram Rider charges too fast. And I put Tesla on top of the Ram Rider, but I meant for it to not charge into the Tesla, if that makes sense. I'm going to go for Skellies on the Golden Knight. He kind of messed up the ability. Or rather, the Golden Knight didn't choose to, like, dash into my Tesla. I'm going to go for a Goblin Machine in the back right now. Tesla on the field, so I'm not really worried about, like, a left lane push. Although he could batter him, but I don't know how he's going to take out the Tesla. Oh, that's how. Okay. I need to log. Um, Evil Archer should take out all the barbs and the egg. All right. I took some damage. I think I took like one barb hit, but that's okay though. I'm fine with taking that. And this guy's super low right now. Hold up. I could actually like win the game right now. I'm going to... Oh, he lost. He did not need that zap right there. He should have ate some damage, but now I'm going to expo. He only has two options for this one golden knight and no ability he can batter ram next or two golden knight ability but he can't get the batter ram down i think i would pop the ability if i was him but let's see Ooh, just go for the batter ram i think he lost i'm gonna get like at least 2000 damage hopefully unless he spells max but which i hope not but i think i should be able to get 2k oh yeah he did go for the arrows Okay, I only got like 1,700, but almost 2k. I'll take it for sure. I'm going to laugh at this guy because he just laughed at me for no reason. <laughs> okay, Tesla in the middle here. I'm going to go for an Expo again. No, I'm not going to do it. Mega Knight in the back. Okay, this push is going to be massive, so I need to kind of watch out. I also need to get to my Evo Tesla. I feel like I might need my Evo Tesla sometime soon. Um, this is like the one push that I'm worried about because in the future, I should be able to defend. But right here, if I take a lot of damage, I'm going to be forced to play aggressive. That means... I'm going to push into a Mega Knight, and then I'm just not going to win the game. So right here, this is kind of what I need to worry about. Yeah, I think I'm fine. I defended that well. Okay, that was really good. Um, That was like really the only push that I was actually worried about. But from now on, I should be able to defend everything. Okay, going to go for Skellies right now. I'm going to have to get to my second Evo Tesla sometime soon. But for this defense, though, I kind of have to defend it without the Evo Tesla. I'm going to go for an Ice Spear right now, make it jump into the ice spear also get like a really good ice spear on the prince golden knight mega knight everything really good log too i'm gonna go for skellies here all the way up high okay not too bad that dies and then if he pops ability it's gonna kill the tesla but not on the tower okay goblin machine on defense playing really good defense right now but it's like really easy to choke for me though one misplay on defense then i could choke the whole game because he has super heavy hitters like he has like a prince golden knight mega knight any of those cards on my tower, I'm lost. So I just have to uh, focus. Really good rocket, by the way. You might try to prediction zap or something, so I'm going to put them here. Okay, wait. Expo on the left, bait out the Golden Knight. That way I split up the push. I don't even care about like getting damage on the tower. I just want to split up the push. Okay, going to Goblin Machine too, just to bait out like more Elixir on the left lane. Because I think I might be able to defend this without... Yeah, I can activate King Tower here, right? Oh, never mind. I went to my Expo. Okay, if it didn't go to Maxpo, I would have been able to activate King Tower, but that's okay. I'm going to Skelly's high. Archers, okay, just one more minute of this, like, annoying defense, and then I'll be able to win the game. <laughs> okay, Goblin Machine right here. Um, I think I'm going to go for Axpo on the right. No, I'm not going to do it. He has a Mega Knight. I'm going to go for a Fireball right now. Yo, if I get a Rocket on the Tower and the Golden Knight, perfect. 300 damage. Let's go. Well, not really 300. Yo, okay. That was good. <laughs> <laughs> goblin machine's so unfair man oh my god really good micros though super nice ice spirit this entire game i've been playing a lot of good ice spirits you kind of need a lot of like good micros to defend these kind of decks um 20 seconds i kind of have to hold these back now because i'm a little bit cooked here skellies okay evo tesla over here okay everything's dashed onto my evo tesla but i'm gonna go for a log and an ice spirit on the side i need to fireball i need to fireball 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 skellies archers okay i'm fine yeah i'm good all right almost choked the game but we don't talk about it good defense <laughs> oh my god realistically i think if the game went on for like the next 20 seconds i would have lost the game but who cares i defended i stalled it out so i will take the win gonna hop right in again see you when i find a match all right i'm in my next match you're facing nepi heart cr see what deck he's playing i'm gonna go for arches in the back to cycle Okay, not gonna lie, might be my last game today. I'm supposed to go to Wisconsin, I'm supposed to drive there. It's like 12 hour drive. Me and my dad are gonna split it, but uh, yeah, not ready for today. 
Gonna go for Axeball on the right. Does go for the Tesla and the Valkyrie. Okay, this could be either Rocket Cycle Princess or could also be Log Bay. I don't know what deck he's playing yet though. But all I know is that I'm up quite a bit of Elixir. I think I'm up like literally like six Elixir right now because he had to spend so much, especially because he played a Tesla in the middle first play. Gonna Goblin Machine over here. Um, I'm looking good right now. Not a bad spot. I just don't know how to punish him. I feel like he has like Goblin Gang or something. He would just put a Goblin Gang on top of my Goblin Machine and then it would die because I need to log the Princess. Okay, wait, Ice Spirit? Come on, something. No, that did not change the interaction. It still does two shots on the guards. All right, whatever. I'm just going to Axe Ball on the right. I feel like he might try to Tesla this because next cycle he is going to be back to Evo Tesla. So I'm going to Archers over here, pull the Valk over and also log the Tesla so I get some damage maybe. Ice Spirit, come on. Okay. Yeah, not bad. He could just barrel me right now, though, but I really hope that he doesn't have barrel and has, like, a Little Prince or something, but I don't know. It's, like, pretty obvious that he has a barrel. He's got Valk and Guards. I feel like he would have had, like, a Knight and Evo Skellies if he had Rocket Cycle deck, not Guards, but we'll see. But, yeah, Guards are really good against the Goblin Machine, by the way. They're kind of popular right now, but they also beat P.E.K.K.A. decks, which is why I think they're popular. I'm going to go for Tesla High. Probably going to um, Princess Opposite Lane, yeah. Good prediction on it. I'm going to go for Archers on the side. He could just rock him at tower right now and get away with it, but I'll still try to punish it because I know that he has Evo Tesla, so he could do it. Hopefully he doesn't figure that out, though. Hopefully he's not smart enough for that, but I feel like he might rock it right now. Uh, yeah. Especially because I also can't block the Expo right away because I don't have a Knight. I have a Goblin Machine, so I'm going to Tesla here just for the sake of saving the Expo a little bit, even though it wasn't really worth it, but whatever. Tesla stays on the field. He can't princess. I'm going to go for a goblin machine in the back. I could definitely win the game, though. This is, like, not that bad of a matchup. It's bad, but not that bad. I feel like I could definitely win. going to go for a log right now. I can also go for archers in the middle. I can also expo on the right, but I don't know if I should. Yeah, I'll just go expo on the right right now, I guess. Okay, goblin machine should take out the Tesla, maybe. Hopefully. Okay, guards are out. I'm going to go for a goblin machine in the middle. I was going to do it at the bridge, but he's got the Valkyrie right now, so they don't want to do it at the bridge. I'm going to go for a log. Okay, he's kind of low with that. Wait, evil Valk? Question mark? Yeah, let's go for the evil Valk. That means he's going to have to Tesla here. Can't afford a rock, and that means I can archer. Okay, block the Tesla. Nice. All right, Ice Spirit on the side to pull the Valk out. I'm not going to log those. I need the log for the princess. I'm going to evil Tesla to take them out, though. Come on, lock on. Okay, nice. That was really good. I'm going to Axe again. He might try to go for like a princess. Okay, he put it into the Evo Tesla. I don't need to log it. I was saving it for the princess opposite, but he actually put it into the Evo Tesla. So I can Axe again. Probably going to rock it. So I'm going to go for a fireball right now. And I'm going to be winning by like a little bit. Oh, interesting. Looks like he's not going to want to go for a rocket. That's going to hurt him a lot, I feel like. I'm going to go for a log. I'm just going to go for like Evo Arches in the middle. Come on, rocket the tower. Nice. Okay, really good. Um... That's basically all the damage I need, realistically, but I feel like he might try to Tesla here, so I'm gonna- Wait, he messed up. He has no elixir. That's why you don't barrel at three elixir as a log bait player. Oh my god, that was so bad. And he also cycled the E-Spear with the barrel, so now he can't even reset my expo. Alright, that was a really good game. I'm gonna end the video there. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to like and subscribe, and let me know in the comments if you guys think this deck is fun to play, but yeah, I love you guys. Bye.